says, geez, don't you hate this time of year? Everything's grinding to a halt. There's still a million things to do before you take a break, and that's if you can take a break. And if you can't, of course, you start feeling like the only person left alive on a desert island, too vile for words. Nevertheless, this is supposed to be a happy time when everyone is loving and giving and chirping. So let's start smiling. Someone gave me a fabulous description of life, which I thought was hilarious. She said, you have two choices. Happy, 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 dead, or worry, 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 dead. Isn't that delicious? Anyway, it's the week of 5 December 2021 and we're all extremely happy. Thanks for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my fab new website, lindashaw.com. That's enough of that. Let's get to the stars. Sagittarius, my little daffodil. Life just gets better and better. And yes, it's probably true that a Sag can never have too much mindless fun. But even you need a tiny bit of actual mental stimulation on occasion. So how about reading a book? Haven't done that in a while. More importantly though, you're preparing your psyche for a new year. Are you too busy having fun with the neighborhood morons to make any big decisions? If you are, that's okay for a while, a very short while. And yes, of course, you obviously deserve a holiday. But if you're just taking a break from sitting on your ass, stand up, turn around and take a different look at your life. Do you know what you want? Visualize yourself in each different situation until one of them feels right. Then project gratitude in that direction. Excellent, you're getting the hang. You're much more gifted than you realize. That's it for Sagittarius. Capricorn, my little buttercup. I want you to wipe the word should from your vocabulary. It's a really crappy word. I should have done this. I shouldn't have eaten that. I should have been there. You can drive yourself crazy with this kind of lunacy. In fact, stop looking backwards. All those mistakes you've made have merged beautifully with all the successes to make up the rich tapestry of your fabulous life. Besides, now's the time to turn it all around. Suddenly you're being called on to change course and to make some real magic. So write down what you want, but not how to get it. As you've doubtless forgotten, the universe works in its own way, not your way. So there'll be some unexpected moments, but the outcome smiles all around. Wait and see. Next year is going to be a goodie. That's it for Capricorn. Aquarius, my little pomegranate. And did you know the pomegranate is a symbol of secret power, just like you. Silent, hidden, deadly, bulging with biceps. It's true. Anyway, my little powerhouse, the good news is that your darkest moments have come and gone for this year anyway. So even if you're still in the ditch, know that the light is out there somewhere and it's looking for you. Start climbing upwards, making a point of helping anyone you can as you go, you know. The way to your happiness is through service and inner growth. Sounds tedious? Isn't. Besides, the good stuff will be arriving in stages, sort of one bite at a time. You'll figure out what works as soon as you're ready to adapt to the mad new energies. Start with money. You're about to make some. And you're underestimating your talents, as usual. That's it for Aquarius. Pisces, my little unicorn! Are your lovers and maybe even your friends asking for some space? Is everyone in your life feeling crowded? And are you having a complete wobbly as a result? Come on now, this is something you completely understand, so don't you dare take it personally. Besides, you can use the extra time to sort out your own huge pile of garbage. You know, all that stuff you've been carefully ignoring, hoping it will miraculously disappear. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, with your money-making powers at their peak as they are, those brilliant ideas need to be explored. And then, of course, there's that need to make some kind of social contribution, something you've always wanted. So stop complaining about crap. There's plenty of other things to keep you occupied. Get moving, sweetie. That's it for Pisces. Aries, my little watermelon, are you taking strain? That's the thing with these new planets. They remove any possibility of instant gratification. So you have to learn how to put your energy out there and then wait. And of course, everybody knows how much you love waiting. Still, take very special care of your health this week. The weak links in the chain are finally snapping, so make sure you've got backup, a few handfuls of vitamins, perhaps some healing energy. And of course, that poor tattered soul needs lashes of devotion. 
ask your inner self what it most needs and see that it gets it, you'll probably find that the demands are very small and that you're being stopped in your tracks for nothing. So open yourself to change. Next week's energy shifts bring a whole host of fabulous new offers and make sure you're ready and healthy. That's it for Aries. Doris, my little soldier, there's no doubt you're the one taking the greatest strain here. Obviously, everyone is feeling the global madness, but for you, every shred of long-term security is being whipped out from under you. It's true, of course, that you're never given anything you can't handle, and you're obviously the toughest of the lot. Even so, a little break would be nice. How about a teeny weekend trip with someone delicious? Might as well. Everyone's at everyone else's throat. All those fabulous deals have ground to a temporary halt, so get out while there's a lull. The planets are asking you to just take life as it comes for a while. No more control for you, not for now. By next week, the energies will have shifted into a much happier place. For now, just remember to breathe. That's it for Taurus. Gemini, you adorable little flower. These insane planets have finally driven you right over the edge and you're peering down into the abyss. Interestingly though, that fabulous imagination has come up with a whole series of new ideas that might just work. So think about this. You have a tendency to dive headlong into the first offer that shows its face, which means you never hang around long enough to read the subtle signals that are put there to show you the way. So this time, you're taking it slowly, keeping your deals as loose as possible. You'll know what's right if you tune into the vibes, and at the very least, don't sign anything at all before next week. Just ignore the love life for now. It's frightening enough as it is. Leave it alone to whimper quietly in its corner. That's it for Gemini. Cancer, my little hedgehog, have you been asleep for the past week? The planets have been virtually waving red flags in your face and you've been sailing along as, you're, as though you're the only one still breathing. Quite an exhilarating feeling probably, but very lonely. It's time to put some direction back into your life. Confusion is your only alternative and you know how you hate that. And since next week is bringing some really interesting news, you will want to be paying attention at last. Use this week's shifts to think about what you really want before the planets go completely wonky on the 19th. So you've got another week after this one. The planet of courage and action is with you all week, giving you wads of confidence and fabulousness. Relax while you can, make some notes, make some plans. By next week, you'll be ready for action. And just remember, you're preparing this for next year. Get in early. That's it for cancer. Leo, my little fried egg. You've been gazing at your finances in horror, haven't you? You've been having that hideous nightmare about eating dog biscuits and living under a bridge. Enough of that. Your wonderful stop-start career is on the move again, and this time you're looking at a whole new beginning. If you've been developing those fabulous talents, which of course you have, you'll be all set to handle the new challenges, but if you're still doing that modest I'm not worthy thing, you'll probably end up working yourself to death just to keep up. Boring. This week, keep doing whatever you're doing. By next week, you'll be seeing yourself completely differently and you'll begin to understand what you're worth and you'll know what to do. Love life, fairly blah. Maybe later for that, you'll have to decide what you actually want first. For now, get rich. That's it for Leo. Burger, my little flower pot, have you completely lost track of where you're going? Well, there's one good thing with all the other distractions, money seems to have lost its power over you, or at least its power to control you, which is exactly why you're now able to truly tune into all the really fascinating opportunities around you. New ideas are being aimed at you. There's loads of interest focused on your fabulously creative abilities. And sure, you know, your love may need some letting go before you can make sense of it all. But when it comes to personal power, you're just beginning to discover what that really means. And you're loving what you see. And with that power comes wealth, even fame, if that was what you want. But let's start with money. You might decide you really like your privacy. Up to you. That's it for Virgo. Libra, my fluffy little kitten, you can expect nothing but madness this whole week. So, let your inner child out to play. Nothing meaningful can be achieved now, not until the planets have settled a little. By next week, actually probably by next year, you'll be ready for something new. But if you can, just hold back a little now. Something completely different is definitely on the way. But sometimes, you know, just sometimes, it's a better idea to let the train arrive on its own instead of hairing down the track after it. Madness. And while you wait, you can let the love life keep you out of mischief. There's lots happening there. Big decisions to be made. 
or not, you know, know what you like. Decisions aren't really your thing. So with each new choice, imagine it'll just be real for the next two days and then decide. Choosing for the rest of your life is much too hard. Just take your time with this. That's it for Libra. Go up here, my little chicken. This is all excellent. Not that you haven't been subjected to the same crap everyone else has to deal with, but you've had a bit more help than others. The god of courage, leadership, charisma, and wild sex is still with you, reminding you that there's no one quite like you in the entire universe. It's true. And by next week, you'll feel as though you're finally in charge of your life again. For now, how about getting your body back in shape? A reward for all its years of service. But either way, you'll soon have a lot more energy, so there'll be much longer to-do list than usual. Watch the anger though, you've been frustrated and confused for a bit of a, you know, for a while. You need an outlet and an excuse to succeed. Be charming, you know very well how, and let some new love into your heart. Money's fine for now, sex is what you need. That's it for Scorpio. Thank you, delicious creatures, for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Don't forget to check out my fabulous new website, lindashaw.com, where you can buy a copy of my fabulous new book, Horoscope Hotties. Meanwhile, whenever you're out there in the world, protect yourself in a bubble of flames and then ask your angels to help you and keep smiling, even if you don't feel like it. Smiling lifts your vibration. Give it a bash. Now, if you'd like to subscribe or like or share or tell me I'm gorgeous, it's free. Have a great week. Remind yourself every five seconds just how amazing you are. Give yourself permission to succeed. It's really important. Bye now.